Welcome to this deep dive into industrial grade sales forecasting using machine learning. In this walkthrough, we'll take you step by step through the entire process, from setting up a reliable Python environment in Google Collab, to downloading and preparing a large scale retail sales dataset, to engineering critical time based features that mirror real world sales drivers. We'll then build, train, and compare both classical and advanced machine learning models, including LightGBM and the powerful Temporal Fusion Transformer. Along the way, we'll highlight key concepts like train validation splits, naive baselines, evaluation metrics, and performance tuning. By the end, you'll see how cutting-edge techniques can turn raw data into accurate, actionable forecasts that are ready for production deployment. Here, we see the initial setup stage of our sales forecasting project using machine learning in Google Collab. The cell executes the installation of all required Python libraries, including datasets, spec, hugging face underscore hub, light GBM, neural forecast, and more. These packages provide the foundation for handling large datasets, building models, and managing experiments. The installation process also updates any outdated dependencies to ensure compatibility and stability. The random seed is set to ensure reproducibility, so that each run produces consistent results. Notice the multiple files being downloaded, representing various package components being installed at high speed. In this step, the dataset is being fetched from the Hugging Face Hub. We use hf underscore hub underscore download to pull a CSV file named train.csv from the t4tiana slash store sales time series forecasting repository. This dataset, which comprises over 3 million records, contains daily sales information for various product families across multiple stores. The data is loaded into a pandas data frame, and we confirm its structure, displaying columns like ID, date, store underscore nbr, family, sales, and on promotion. This marks the beginning of our journey into sales data exploration. This frame illustrates the feature engineering phase. Calendar features are created from the date column to enrich the dataset. The DAO represents the day of the week, month captures the calendar month, and is underscore weekend flags whether a given date falls on a weekend. These features are crucial as sales patterns often follow temporal trends. The dataset is merged with these new features, and any missing promotional data is filled with zero. Additionally, any negative sales values, likely data entry errors, are corrected to zero, ensuring data integrity for our models. We now define our training and validation periods. The dataset is split chronologically, reserving the last 90 days for validation to mimic real-world forecasting scenarios where the future is unseen during training. The training set spans from 2013 to mid-May 2017, while the validation set covers from mid-May to mid-August 2017. This method of splitting ensures no data leakage, allowing our models to be tested realistically on truly unseen data. In this slide, we define two key evaluation metrics for our models. The Weighted Mean Absolute Percentage Error, or WMAPE, helps quantify the accuracy of forecasts relative to actual sales volumes, making it intuitive for business interpretation. The root mean squared scaled error, or RMSSE, adjusts for scale and compares predictions against a naive seasonal benchmark. These metrics ensure we evaluate our models robustly, focusing on both accuracy and stability. This image depicts the implementation of our naive forecasting benchmark. The model predicts sales for each store and product family as the sales from exactly one week prior. This simple yet powerful baseline allows us to gauge whether our machine learning models provide meaningful improvements. If sophisticated models can't beat this naive approach, their added complexity would not be justified in production. Here we introduce LightGBM, a gradient boosting model designed for high efficiency and accuracy. The model is configured with a Poisson objective, suitable for count data like sales. Categorical features are correctly typed to help the model process them optimally. Early stopping ensures training halts when validation performance no longer improves, saving time and preventing overfitting. 
This step lays down our machine learning benchmark, aiming to surpass naive predictions with a more sophisticated algorithm. This output reveals Light GBM's training journey. The model evaluates performance on the validation set after each iteration, automatically stopping at the best point, here, iteration 829. The log shows how the algorithm progressively learns from the data, optimizing its internal structure to minimize the loss function and improve forecasting accuracy. Now, we see the setup and training of a temporal fusion transformer, or TFT, one of the most advanced deep learning architectures for time series forecasting. The model structure includes embedding layers, temporal encoders, and fusion decoders, totaling 1.4 million trainable parameters. The network is configured to predict 28 days ahead, learning complex relationships between sales and multiple exogenous features like promotions and calendar effects. The model trains efficiently on GPU, halting at the preset maximum step count. Finally, this output demonstrates the TFT's prediction phase. After training, the model forecasts future sales using provided exogenous data for the validation period. A warning indicates that some rows from Futra underscore DF were unused, this is expected when only a portion of data matches the forecast horizon. The prediction process runs smoothly, leveraging GPU acceleration to produce forecasts at high speed. This completes the modeling pipeline, preparing us for performance evaluation. In this final step of our sales forecasting pipeline, we evaluate the performance of all three models, the Naive Benchmark, Light GBM, and the Temporal Fusion Transformer. The code systematically computes WMAPE, the weighted mean absolute percentage error, which reflects how far off predictions are in proportion to actual sales. It also calculates RMSSE, the root mean squared scaled error, which contextualizes our forecasts against the inherent variability in the data. The resulting leaderboard ranks models by WMAPE. The temporal fusion transformer emerges as the clear winner, achieving an impressively low WMAPE of about 5.2%, significantly outperforming both light GBM and the naive baseline. This demonstrates how advanced neural architectures can capture complex temporal dependencies and exogenous effects to provide highly accurate forecasts. The light GBM model, while far better than naive, still lags behind TFT, highlighting the power of deep learning in this context. This final output validates the entire pipeline, showcasing a robust machine learning solution ready for industrial deployment. As we conclude this journey, we've demonstrated a complete sales forecasting pipeline, from data ingestion and feature engineering, through to model building, validation, and performance benchmarking. Our results show how advanced deep learning models like the Temporal Fusion Transformer can deliver significant improvements over traditional methods, offering businesses sharper insights and more reliable predictions. The workflow we've covered is not just an academic exercise, it mirrors the processes used in real-world, industrial applications. Armed with these tools and techniques, you're well-equipped to build, test, and deploy your own forecasting solutions with confidence. Thank you for joining this exploration of machine learning for sales forecasting, until next time, keep innovating.